Hey, how's it going? This is Hellbent, and today I have for you a controller mod for the game Diep.io. Um, I don't know about you, but whenever I use the keyboard, I, I don't usually play these kind of games where I have to use, you know, the W A S D or the arrow keys to move around. So they're a little bit. Uh, I don't know. I'm just not used to it. And another thing, even if I was used to it, it cramps my hand. My hand's really bad. So. I decided to create a mod so that way I can use my PlayStation 3 controller and play the game with it. So I'll show you a quick demo of it at work. Um, now I have it broken up into there's two two versions of this. There's one version where three it has three scripts all built into one, so it'll control the up, down, left, right, and all the buttons. For your controller all in one script but my computer's piece of shit and I uh, I don't find that it runs quite as well like that so what I've done is I've broken most of the components of it like I have an, a script for just the up and down another one for the left and right and another one for all the buttons so that's what I'm going to be using here and you'll have the choice of which one you want to use you can do try the all three in one or you can use the it broken up so I'm gonna just start these so I'm gonna press play on that so that's the up and down here's the left and right and then here's the buttons sometimes I have to press it twice to get it to go alright so buttons okay so now I'll just bring up the game and I'll jump in okay so first thing I need to do is plug in my controller so I'm gonna so when I wrote this I wrote it I only have access to a PlayStation 3 controller, so when you get your copy, you might have to play around with the buttons. And I guess I can show you that quick first. So, let me see. Okay. So, damn, I think I just exited out of the game. Okay, good. Okay, so in the button script, you'll see something like this, where it'll say, button. this is for triangle, button 1, for example. Um, button 2 is circle whatever your button if if it doesn't line up so I've, I've laid out the button so that way they're basically triangle is up circle is to the right square X is down and square is to the left so if your buttons don't quite line up with that you can come in here and just change the button number that you're going to be controlling so you can change this to like a 4 or whatever it is you need it to be but anyways, let's uh, do the demo. Okay, so I'm going to plug in my PlayStation 3 controller. Okay, and now if I press up on the D-pad, it should move up. Okay, if I move left, it moves left. If I go this way, it goes this way. And this way. And I can also go on an arc as well, or an angle. Okay, now I can just use my, I can sit it on my lap here and just uh, control my direction a lot easier but I also have buttons so one thing that I've noticed and you might notice this as well is when I press spacebar I don't get much lag and I can move around and I don't really get a, too much little lag spikes but if I use the the mouse but to uh, hold down I get a lot more of those lag spikes so what I have built into the controller is if I press L1 it'll just start shooting and it'll just keep shooting forever until I stop it by pressing R1 but now I get a lot less lag. Okay, come on. Okay, so so like I said, the D-pad moves that. If I press L1, it starts shooting. If I press R1, it stops shooting. If I press circle, oh, this game's closed. Let's do that again. All right. So we have my basic controller. Okay, so if I press circle, it'll see, watch my cursor. So it'll just start going back and forth to the right if I press circle. If I press X, it'll do down in an arc. If I press square, it'll go to the left in an arc. And if I press X, triangle, it'll shoot up. And then if I want it to stop, I just press R1 and it stops. Now I can buy some upgrades and I'll get reload because that'll make me shoot faster. And I'll just press circle and it'll start arcing back and forth. Now I can go 
If I had a weapon like a machine gun or whatever that's going to put in a lot of bullets, this becomes really effective for farming uh, blocks and shit. All right, let's go the opposite direction. Right, because right now it's going to miss most of the blocks because I only have like a little pea shooter. But I'll go over the buttons one more time real quick. So my D-pad is what moves me around. If I press L1, it'll start shooting. And now I can use my cursor and I don't have to actually press down on uh, the button. If I press R1, it'll stop shooting. If I press circle, it'll arc to the right. If I press X, it'll arc to the bottom. Square to the left and triangle up. And then if I press the start button, it'll exit out of the, the script. And if I look here, I can see that I have an exit code for all three scripts. Okay, so that's it for that. If you want a copy of it, what you're going to need to have is a copy of Auto Hotkey. If you don't know how to get Auto Hotkey, I'll leave a video link in the description to show you a quick tutorial going over how to get it and then how to run scripts once you have it. Where you're going to find the scripts, I'm also going to leave uh, in the description. So I've already pasted them up. It's just going to lead you to these this uh, paste bin sites. So this is the all three scripts in one. And all you're going to do is just copy all of this and then paste it into a blank notepad. So if I, you know, you just paste it in and then save it, save it as, uh, use the same file name that I have here. So just use this as your file name. And at the very end, right after the word script, put dot AHK and that'll make it an auto hotkey executable script. But like I said, if you're not clear on this, just watch the video in the description. It's only about four or five minutes and it'll tell you how to get a copy of auto hotkey and how to run the scripts. Um, last thing, like I said, this I only have access to a PlayStation 3 controller, so the buttons for your controller, if it's not a PlayStation 3, might be a little bit different. Um, when I first wrote this script, I was using something called a um, uh, DS3 tool, this thing down here, and basically it's just an emulator for a Microsoft controller, like an Xbox controller, and the button layout was different. For example, the thing that I have assigned right now for the D-pad was actually for the first analog stick, the, the left analog stick. So if you have an Xbox controller, when you go and start using it, instead of the D-pad, it might actually be the analog stick. You might have issues. I'm not positive. If you do have issues, leave a comment. And if enough people want this for a different controller type, I'll investigate on how to write it for your individual um, controllers. But as it is right now, I know it works for a PlayStation 3. It, most of the functions should work for other controllers, but the button layout might be slightly different. So you might have to go into the script, like I said, and change the button. So right at the top of this button script, I have the button. So button 1, for example, is triangle. And you just have to go through and see what what it's supposed to do and what it is actually doing and just maybe change the buttons around a little bit all right that's it i hope you enjoy and i'll see you next time